Hello, my name is Nikan, and this is a geometric collaborative in 3D. This bulletin board is three-dimensional, and it allows large groups to work together to create it. You will find this lesson on my Teachers Pay Teacher Store. It's called Geometric Collaborative in 3D. When you download the lesson, this is what it's going to look like. It's simply a PDF, but there's a lot of power in this PDF. First, you can click to see the presentation. Let's do that. Geometric collaboration in 3D looks like this. I'm going to give you all the tips that I came up with as I created this with my students and a lot of insight that I found as I was working with my kiddos. I'm going to show you the why. Why is it best to do this lesson in collaboration and also the Visual Arts National Standards? This is actually two lessons in one. It's going to show you how to adapt this lesson for your younger artists all the way up to your older artists, no matter what level you're working with. So this is a two-dimensional shape that will go in nicely and it works best for our youngest artists. For this, it's going to show you what you will need as well as examples and videos. These are teacher-led videos, examples of student work, then it gets into the three-dimensional shape. This is the fun part. Again, I'll share what you do need, but give you a lot of options for using the materials in your classroom. I'll bring you through visuals of the directions. I have eight different patterns that can be used for this lesson and videos for each of them. They're very quick snippets that your kids will definitely be able to pay attention to. And then you're gonna take that flat piece and make it three-dimensional. This is an overview that you can show your students that allows them to see the full picture before you break it down into the mini steps. This is going to bring your students step-by-step, step, showing them repeatedly how to do each step so that they can successfully make their three-dimensional triangle. Then, of course, I'm going to have student examples, how I set up the classroom, how the display looks, and even give you some areas for critique, so student work that you can discuss in your classroom. I told you that there were some videos included in this lesson. Actually, as of right now, there's 19 videos. I would imagine this is going to grow. So all of these videos are housed on YouTube. In order to make this lesson work, you're gonna want to make sure that you have access to YouTube and that you have access to internet. Let's go back to that PDF. Take a look at this. There are two QR worksheets or resource pages that you can print off for your students. So when you click into this, this is going to give you all those patterns that I showed you, those videos of patterns in QR form. So you can allow your students to work independently and with choice. You're also going to have one similar to that that shows the students the step-by-step -step version of making their um, three-dimensional shape. So this will allow students to work independently as well. I hope you can hear the passion in my voice as I explain this lesson. We did this at the end of the school year and all of these pieces are going to be displayed for my students as they walk into their new school year. This is a really good bridge from last year to this year. This is also an excellent collaborative to do with your students as they come into your classroom this year. Having a collaborative unites your class, unites your school, and allows them to celebrate an overall beautiful artwork as an entire group.